Hello yogis and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Selva Yoga and today I'm here to guide you through a 25 minutes yoga practice. Now, this class is designed to be very gentle and is designed to help you loosen up the body a little bit. We'll be exploring a couple of twists, especially lots of floor poses. So if this sounds good and you're ready to practice yoga with me, jump on your mat and let's get started. Hello yogis and welcome back to class. Now, in today's practice, we'll be starting in a child's pose. So let's just find our way. Make sure that your toes are touching and then widen your knees. Sit lower towards your heels and then begin to walk your hands towards the top of your mat. Feel the lengthen happening throughout the entire arms. Breathe in and then exhale, begin to lower your forehead to the ground. Maintain your arms lifted so your elbows are not touching the ground. And then imagine that your fingertips are wanting to walk towards the top. And then slowly you feel your glutes becoming heavier and heavier, resting towards your heel. Let's take two deep breaths into our child's pose so we can set our intention, noticing how we're feeling right now in this moment. Whenever you're breathing in, just feel your lower back, the side ribs and the upper ribs expanding. And every time you're exhaling, just feel your body heavier and heavier. At this point, maybe your eyes are already closed, or just notice how your mind feels. And exhale, let go. On the next inhale, gently yogis, begin to lift your forehead from the ground. And let's just walk these hands towards the right side. So let's just find a side bend. So reach your right arm as far as you can and then see if you can step your left hand on top of it and then rest your forehead down to the ground again. Every time you breathe, just feel the space we are creating in the left side of our armpit and arms and lower ribs. Just taking these slow and gentle movements to connect to your body and notice again how you're feeling. One more deep inhale. Exhale fully. And then gently from here on your next inhale, lift your forehead up. And let's just move in the opposite direction. So reach your left hand towards the left side of your mat and then step your right hand on top of it. Breathe in. And exhale, relax. And again here, see if you can close your eyes. And then just simply allow yourself to be. Breathing into your right armpit, into your ribs, throughout the entire body. Very nice. And then slowly on your next inhale, begin to lift your forehead up. And let's just walk our hands back to center. We will be transitioning into a tabletop. So you make sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and knees directly underneath your hips. Press the collars of your feet against the floor. Knuckles and fingertips nice and active. Push the back of your heart up towards the sky. Four runs of cat cow here. So on your next inhale, draw the belly button down. Open your heart. You might want to keep your elbows soft. Open your heart up. Exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest. Push the back of your heart up towards the sky. Three more of these yogis. Inhale, open up. Feel the heart opening, lower back. Feeling nice and engaged. Exhale, tailbone under. Chin towards your chest and push, push, push. Two more of these, take it nice and slow. Feel your entire spine moving. Exhale, rounding. Last one, inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Very nice. Slowly from here, yogis, inhale, return to your natural tabletop position. Let's just thread the needle from here. Keep your left hand where it is. Inhale, reach your right arm up. 
On the next exhale, slowly scoop your right hand underneath your, right, your left armpit, placing the right shoulder down. Optional to remain here, yogis. Option number two is just to walk your left fingertips forward. Begin to rotate your torso, gazing up, pressing the back of your right hand against the floor, finding these activations in your shoulder. Let's breathe. And breathe out. One more here. Long inhale. And full exhale. Slowly, yogis, place your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Inhale. Reach your right arm up. Exhale, place your right hand down. Same thing in the opposite side. So inhale, reach your left arm up this time. Exhale, scoop your left hand underneath your right arm, but placing the left shoulder down. And then see if you want to remain here. And then otherwise, feel free to walk your right fingertips forward. Keep rotating your torso, gazing up. Finding these rotations in our spine. Long breathing. Just taking this time again to empty your mind and it doesn't matter how busy you feel you are. Just enjoy this moment that is just entirely for yourself. You're here for a reason. So just close the door of all that busy lifestyle and just take the time for you. Slowly yoga is from here, inhale. Exhale fully. And then slowly begin to guide your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Press your hands in. How reach your left arm up. Exhale. Left hand comes down. Very nice. Now we're aiming for the top corners of our mat. We're moving into our puppy pose. So take a deep breath in. Maintain your hips above your knees. Exhale. Melt your heart to the ground. Keeping your arms nice and engaged. And see if you can bring your chin to the ground. If the chin is not an option, don't worry. So you can bring your forehead down or maybe support with a block. Really focusing on sending that tailbone super high and then melt your heart to the ground. This is nice, it's lengthening our biceps, our chest, our lats, the pecs. But at the same time, it's really working on our lower back. So let's take a full advantage of this pose, heart chakra, stimulations of anatta. And then slowly on your next exhale, begin to peel your body forward, guide your pubic bone down to the ground, and tuck your toes. And now see if you can touch both toes behind you. Guide your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Press the hands. The activations here is that your elbows are wanting to come towards you, your chest is lifting up, Hands facing down, close your eyes, shoulders up. Sphinx pose, yogis. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more of these. Long deep inhale. Full exhale. Squeezing with the glutes, squeezing with the inner thighs. And then slowly on your next and third exhale, begin to guide your forehead down to the ground. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Let's just return to our tabletop position. And then child's pose. Long breath in. Exhale, slowly and gently return to your tabletop. Begin to tuck your toes, lift your knees up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Any movement that you wish to do, you maybe want to pedal your feet one heel at a time, maybe shake your head, make sure that you're pressing the ground with your arms, externally rotating your shoulders, you can really breathe towards the space in between your scapulas and shoulder blades. And then maybe a couple of yes and no, just go any tension yogis. From here on the next inhale, keep your left foot where it is, reach your right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee and stack your right hip over to the left side. Rotate a little bit of your ankle, creating some lubrication. And then slowly from here, gently guide your right knee to the nose and then find a big step forward. Guide your left knee down, squeeze your inner tight, sweep your arms above your head. Exhale, guide your hips towards the ground. 
arms are nice and long, imagine you're reaching up to grab something special. On the next exhale, reach your arms forward. We're gonna keep the left hand where it is. On the next inhale, we begin to rotate and reach back with your right arm, find a little twist. Long inhale. On the next exhale, begin slowly to guide your left hand down to the ground. Keep gazing up towards the sky with your right hand. Long deep breath. On the next exhale, slowly we begin to lift the left knee up, finding a twisted crochet A moon. Remain strong with your left hand, keep reaching up with your right one. Left heel is pressing towards the ground. And then slowly, yogis, from here, exhale, begin to guide your right hand down to the ground. And then step your left foot a couple of inches next to the right foot, or closer to the right foot, sorry. Finding our pyramid pose. So inhale, bring and shift your chest forward. Exhale, slowly begin to guide your forehead towards your shin, finding this beautiful length in towards the back of your right leg. And again, inhale, lifting your torso up. You're more than welcome here to assist with blocks if you need to. Exhale, just melt down. Sat in the belly bottom to the spine so you can gain some extra space. Very nice. So now place both hands down to the ground. Let's just step into our plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, guide your knees down and chest and chin, slide into your cobra. Inhale, relax your shoulders. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Same thing in the opposite side. So keep your right foot where it is. Inhale, reach your left leg as high as you can. Begin to bend your left knee, stack your left hip over to the right side. Maybe create some circles. With your left ankle, breathe in, feeling strong into your shoulders. And then gently exhale, begin to guide your left knee to the nose and then find a big step forward. Guide your right knee down, keep your toes tucked. Inhale, reach your arms as high as you can. Nice and active with the core, spine is long, shoulders are soft. Relax your face, relax your eyes. On the next exhale, we extend the arms in front of us. On your next inhale, begin to keep your right arm where it is. Extend your left arm back and gaze back. Exhale, twist. Allowing this breath to travel all the way down to your diaphragm. Allowing this twist to make it more fun. Using your immune system, your internal organs. Another deep inhale. Exhale, slowly guide your right hand to the ground and keep reaching as tall as you can with your left hand for an easy twist. Breathe. Breathe out. Slowly from here, yogis, begin to lift your back knee up, finding your crescent A moon, twisted. Keep reaching up. You really imagine something above your left hand, so you really want to grab that. And then on the next exhale, slowly frame your left foot. Gaze forward and then our right foot steps. Just a couple of inches behind our left. Maintaining both legs straight. Inhale, begin to lift your torso up like in halfway. Exhale, belly button to the spine and then slowly we lean forward. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lean. Final one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean. It's very nice. On the next exhale, we lean forward a little bit. We step our left foot, meeting the back one, into our plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, guide your knees down, chest and chin. Slide into your cobra. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Keep your left foot where it is. On the next inhale, reach your right leg as high as you can. Exhale, slowly guide your right knee to the right wrist. Flex your right foot. Bring your left shin parallel to the ground. 
Now gently untuck your back toe, moving into our pigeon pose. Begin to walk your hands towards you, lift your torso up. Inhale. Make sure that you're flexing your right foot. And on the next exhale, create a cushion with your hands, finding your pigeon pose. Rest your head, rest your eyes again. Allowing this breath to really nourish your hips. Nourish your bloodstream, your muscles. One more long inhale. Exhale fully. And then slowly inhale. Yogis, lift your forehead from the ground and walk your hands towards you. Allow your right glute to come down to the ground. Now gently and slowly we are extending the left leg forward. Now keep your right heel closer to your growing. Flex your left foot. Remove the fleshy part from your seat bones. Inhale, reach your arms nice and up. Exhale, grab whatever is accessible for you today. And again, keep sending your chest forward nice and active. It doesn't matter if it's not your foot, it's absolutely fine. So you maybe want to frame your shin, but keep shifting your chest forward. You really want to try to keep your spine as long as possibly you can. Exhale, see if you can find more space. And then slowly from here, inhale, walk your hands towards you. Very nice. Now slowly, let's just cross the shins, roll over to our knees, step into your plank, and then downward facing dog. And then we do the same thing, you see, inhale, reach your left leg as high as you can. Exhale, begin to guide your left knee to the left wrist, flex your left foot, slide your back knee down, pigeon pose, opposite side. Walk your hands towards you so you can find more lengthening into your back and chest. And exhale, begin to rest your forehead to the hands and see if you can find more space for your mind and with yourself. Resting on the ground. Really feel the sensations of the body. How does your left hip feel? Do you notice any particular differences between your left and the right? Is your body feeling particularly tense today or maybe a little bit more loosen up? Slowly from here, yogis, on your next inhale, begin to lift your torso up and walk your hands towards you. Allow your left glute to come down to the ground. Slowly extend your right leg forward. Guide your left heel a little bit closer to your groin. Push the left knee away. Inhale, reach your arm up. Exhale, grab whatever is accessible for you today. And sometimes, you know, some days we are more flexible, or the days we're a little bit more tense. So just allow your body to be and just respect it as it presents it today. And then again, inhale your torso exhale suck the belly button towards the spine see if you can gain more space and then gently yogis from here inhale walk your hands towards you now we're gonna guide the right heel towards our growing moving into cobbler pose so heels are closer towards our groin but you can also find a little bit of extra space so you can push them forward if you wish begin to Butterfly your knees, so this is really good for our hips. Again, maintain your shoulders soft and again, keeping your spine nice and long. Let's take another deep inhale. And exhale slowly, use your elbows to push the knees away and then slowly round your spine and guide your forehead towards the big toes. And breathe into the back of your shoulders, your middle back, lower back. Gently from here, inhale, begin to come all the way back up. Guide your knees towards each other. We're gonna be moving into boat pose, core activations. 
So grab the back of your legs and then begin to walk your toes towards you. Now really important here to keep your spine nice and straight, keeping your chest nice and open, then slowly your feet are coming off the floor. Extend your legs, maybe just keeping a bend. Some of us are home, maybe they will be able to extend the legs properly. I am not, so I'm not gonna even try. I will. <laughs> and then slowly extend the arms forward. We're gonna hold it here for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Slowly guide the soles of your feet down to the ground and then gently relax your lower back to the ground. We're gonna be moving into our bridge pose. So walk your heels towards you. Fingertips are reaching towards your heels. Press the arms, press the feet against the floor. Inhale, and on the next exhale, begin to squeeze the glutes and push your booby bone as high as you can. Optional here, yogi, is to interlace your fingers and push the wrist and the fist behind you. Keep remaining active. Long inhale, deep and longer exhale. And then slowly on your final exhale, release your hands and vertebra by vertebra we are uncurling our spine back to center. Swing your knees left and right, left and right. And then slowly yogis from here. Let's just guide the knees towards our chest. Now our left hand is going over to the right knee. Slowly we guide the knees over to the left side and we extend the right arm. Maybe in a cactus shape or maybe we can extend the arms if we've got space in our room for a spinal twist. A few moments of relaxation here. Making sure that you're breathing fully and you're letting go. And then sometimes it's not even required to do a full hour of yoga. Even these 20 minutes are enough. As soon as we wake up with the intentions of doing something that is great for ourselves, this is already a winning card. On your next inhale, gently yogis, begin to guide your knees back to center. Now extend your left arm and then your right hand is guiding both knees over to the right side. Keep gazing over to the left or maybe close your eyes. Finding this beautiful spinal twist. And again, keep breathing, sending your breath to the belly. Your left shoulder is relaxed, your right shoulder is relaxed, your eyes are closed. Very nice. On your next inhale, begin to guide your knees back to the chest. And from here, see if you can extend your legs. So imagine you're walking or you're squatting on the ceilings. So imagine upside down. Now slowly the elbows are coming internally to your knees and then your hands are coming externally to your feet. Allow the gravity to play in your favor. So let your legs be and go. Widening through your hips a little bit and then begin to rock side to side. Allowing your spine to be massaged by the ground. So slowly rocking left and right, left and right. Very good. Now gently yogis, from here release. Guide your knees back to your center. Optional here yogis, if you want to lay down for a few minutes, so you can rest in your Shavasana. I'll truly recommend you to do that. If instead you're ready to get to work, or maybe go get your kids from school, or do anything that you need to rush and you need to stop your practice, then slowly come find a comfortable seat, making sure that you're sitting nice and tall. 
Rest your hands on top of your knees and feel your spine nice and long. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Now gently open your mouth and slowly let go. One more of these. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let go. Begin to guide your hands to your heart. Let's take a deep final breath together. Exhale, gently bow your head so that you can honor your time and your practice. Thank you so much, yogis, once again, for choosing to practice yoga with me and to support my channel. Namaste. Thank you so much again. And then if you did enjoy this very short practice, make sure that you're clicking that like button below and you are subscribing to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And if you know, again, some people that might benefit from my yoga practice, then just simply share my videos with them. That will be extremely good for me to keep carry on doing what I'm doing. And especially, it's amazing that you can share this beautiful gift of yoga with all the world. Thank you so much, yogis. Namaste.